Dr. Bulow, what is the strategic mission of Open Monoclonal Technology, the company you founded in 2008? So it is Open Monoclonal Technologies, or OT's mission, to provide access to an antibody platform that's based on genetically engineered animals. Actually, the access to animal-derived antibody platforms has become more difficult, in particular because Medrex and Upgenics have been taken off the market. Upgenix was acquired by Amgen, Medrex was acquired by Crystal Myers Squibb, and the access to the Regenon Velocimal mouse is very, very expensive. At the same time, it's clear that there is a demand to have an access to an animal-derived antibody platform, and this is because development times with antibodies derived from animal-based platforms are actually substantially faster than development times with antibodies derived from phage display. And this is for the simple reason that the immune system actually optimizes antibodies in terms of affinity, specificity, solubility, levels of expression, and this is something a phage display library cannot do. Okay. So we have completed our platform now, and we are actually looking for partners that want to use our own T-RATs for the generation of new human monoclonal antibodies. Uh, please tell us more about the decision to use rats as an expression model for fully humanized antibodies and how you achieved this expression. So the rat is a widely used laboratory animal, so we understand very well how rats actually make their antibodies repertoire, and this is pretty much the same as it happens in humans. So when we um, started our genetic engineering, we essentially had to do two steps to convince rats to make human antibodies. On the one hand, we had to inactivate endogenous rat antibody expression, and on the other hand, we had to introduce recombinant immunoglobulin loci that encode human antibodies. And the introduction of recombinant immunoglobulin loci, of course, had been accomplished before in other animals, in the mouse, in the rabbit, and in the cow, but the inactivation of antibody expression in rats had not been done before. And this is for the simple reason that in rats, when we started opening T, everywhere in stem cells were not available, and nuclear transfer technology was also not available. So we had to come up with a new strategy how to inactivate antibody expression in rats, and we did this using zinc finger nucleases. These are essentially restriction enzymes that have very large target sequences and therefore very specific and we were the first ones to use a zinc finger nuclease in a rat embryo, which resulted in a pretty high frequency of knockout animals, and that's why we could publish this new technology in science in 2009. So now we have the knockout animals and the animals that make human antibodies, and we cross-bred these animals to get all the features in one animal, and